Every two years, the State Game and Fish Department reviews the fishing proclamation and makes regulation changes if necessary. So the new fishing guide, the document itself, will run from April 1st of 2024 through March 31st of 2026. Power says generally there are very few changes to the fishing guide, and this year's changes are allowing for more opportunity for anglers. There's some new lakes out there that you can use legal live aquatic bait, minnows. Also, we now are allowing some more opportunity for those that are out there bow fishing, archery. They now can take channel catfish in the Missouri River system, as well as during the dark spear spearfishing season come next winter, they'll be able to take northern pike along with rough fish. And then also there's, uh, for people that trap their bait, uh, there's a new rule in place that you need to mark your trap so that law enforcement, if the game wardens come across it, they know who it belongs to. And also there is also a penalty for messing around with somebody else's mental traps. There's also a new limit for catfish for parts of the state. In the past, anywhere west of Highway 1, which is basically the western two-thirds of North Dakota, did not have a limit on channel catfish. Moving forward, there's a liberal cat a limit, 20 daily, 40 in possession, and the Red River has limit remains the same at five fish. Anglers can view the new fishing guide a few different ways. We're printing a whole lot less than we used to because what we're seeing, like everything else in our society, is a, a transformation to the electronic version. You can get a hard copy again, but you also use your phone. That's what most people are using anymore. Go to the department's website or download the department's app and you can have the fishing rules right in place. You download it and it doesn't matter. You don't need to have cell service you'll know what the rules are. The Game and Fish Department manages over 400 lakes and fishing should be good again this year. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.